ever get that like weird feeling at work where it's just a little dorn? Oh, yeah. Like something's just not right. We've all been there, right? Oh. But here's the thing. California saying enough is enough. They're taking workplace safety super seriously with this new law. And honestly, yeah. it's about time. We're diving into California's brand new workplace violence prevention law today. And I've got to say, this one's a big deal. So if you're in California or, frankly, anywhere, really, listen up. Yeah, for a long time, people thought workplace safety was just like hard hats and safety goggles, you know? Right, exactly. But this new law, it's like, nope, everyone deserves to feel safe at work. It's not just about construction sites or anything. This law covers practically everyone. Your favorite barista, teachers, folks working in an office, everyone. Exactly. Everyone deserves to feel safe at work, and that's what this new California law is all about. And what's really cool is that it's like it's not just about reacting to situations after they've happened. It's about creating a culture of safety from day one. Okay, so that sounds great in theory. But what does that actually look like, right? Like, what does that actually mean for the average person just trying to do their job? So imagine you're working at a restaurant, right? And you see a customer getting, like, really agitated. Maybe they're yelling, making threats, that kind of thing. In the past, you might not have said anything, you know, because you don't want to get in trouble. Right, right. <laughs> but this new law, this law is like, nope, you can speak up. You can report those red flags and you're protected. No retaliation. Wow, that's huge. That is yeah. huge. So it's not just on the employer to figure everything out. Yeah. This actually empowers employees to, like, take charge of their own safety and the safety of their coworkers, too. Yeah. But how do you actually create this whole culture of safety thing? Because that sounds, I mean, that's a lot. It is a lot. And this is where it gets really interesting. This law says employers can't just, like, have that old safety manual that's been sitting in a drawer for who knows how long, yeah, right? Right. They have to actually train their employees on safety procedures. And not just, like, a one-time thing when you start. They have to do it regularly. Wow. It's about making safety an ongoing conversation. It makes you wonder, though, how are employers even supposed to keep up with all of this? That sounds like a lot to manage. It is. And that's where tools like Simplified Alerts can be a game changer. Okay, so tell me more about this. What is this? What is Simplified Alerts and how does it actually help with all of this? So think of it this way. It's like having a direct line to everyone in your workplace, but in a really smart way. In an emergency, employers can use it to send out like instant alerts to everybody. Oh, wow. But here's the really cool part. It's not just a one way street. Employees can use it, too. They can report any concerns they have any time and actually get a response back. So it's like a two-way communication tool yeah. specifically for workplace safety. That makes sense. But, like, does it actually make a difference, you know? Or is it just another one of those tech solutions that sounds good but doesn't really do much? It comes down to this whole idea of a culture of safety we talked about, right? Technology by itself. It's not a magic solution or anything. But when you combine it with other things, training, open communication... That's where tools like Simplified Alerts can really shine. They can help create that environment where everyone feels safer and more respected. So for someone listening right now thinking, okay, this is a lot of information, what's the one thing they should take away from all of this? Like, what should they actually do? I'd say start paying attention. Think about your own workplace. Do you feel really safe there? Does your employer make you feel like you can speak up about safety concerns? That's a good point. And if the answer is no, this new law gives you the power to say something. You have a right to feel safe at work, and you can advocate for yourself and your coworkers to make that happen. You know, it's a good reminder that we all deserve to feel safe at work. It's not just about avoiding bad situations. It's about being in a workplace where everyone feels respected and heard. Something to think about. 